Hello, my name is Ruben Lopez, and this is my beautiful wife. Casela Lopez. And we've been coming to the way for five years. Uh, we both came from broken families. We were living in sin. We had a rough marriage. We also struggled with alcohol abuse, drug abuse. Kept me away from my family and kids, and I was not being a good husband or father figure to my family. And all I could do was pray about it. I wouldn't say I was perfect either. All I could do was just hold on. And I went to jail, and I had a break breakthrough with Jesus. I was, I was uh, supposed to be doing uh, four years, but when I went to court, it got dismissed. God let me out, and I returned back to my family and kids, and now I'm a husband and a father. The process wasn't easy, and decided to give the marriage one last chance. Now putting God first in our marriage. We, we did a, a marriage challenge, and holy wars, and we got baptized. The baptized was probably one of the biggest moments for me besides having my kids, because I didn't want to live a life of sin anymore. I wanted to live with God, and I did not want to live an eternal life without Him. Jesus has been blessing me a lot. Like He changed my life. Mm -hmm. I've been sober for a year now. So I haven't done no drugs. I spend time with my kids, I spend time with my wife now. And anything we have to do or talk about, we bring it to God or our leaders in DG, we know we just have to put it on God's faith and move forward. I had to put my foot down and tell the devil, that's, the devil, that's it. I'm not giving you my life no more. I'm giving it to Jesus. And, his, and Jesus has been blessing me a lot. Yeah, we should be a broken family, but now we're... We're one. We're, we're one. A team. We're, we're a whole team now because of Jesus. Knowing that God suffered a lot for me, for us, he never, he never stopped looking for us. So I know that no matter what I go through, nothing compares to what he went through for us. And that's what's helping me want to grow in his word. When I couldn't find a happiness in him, I would go out with my friends. And now I know that that wasn't right, that sin life was not for me. Now look for God when I'm hurting or when I'm sad or when I feel lost. There was times where the devil attacked me and uh, there was times where I was just close to just committing suicide. I rebuke you Satan and, and, no, and those thoughts went away. So with having faith pulled me through. I was in, incarcerated, the only friend I had was the Bible. I used to read it every day and that's what caught me through it. The Lord is the rock, the Lord, the Lord gave me my soul mm -hmm. for self-control. Uh, he already knows. He, he walks with you. You walk with him. So love God, and and you see him through. God can help you get through your day, and you pray for your husband, your family, and he will do the miracle.